In 1990, one of the largest reclamation projects in the Philippines was approved. It was a development that was supposed to serve as a light industry zone, but eventually it grew into a massive commercial sector where five-star resorts and casinos are placed, large convention centers that can fit tens of thousands, and all other substantial developments. This is Cebu's famous South Road Properties, a 300-hectare reclamation area that was proposed by the former mayor of Cebu City, Thomas Osmania. Soon after that, they were able to secure a loan from Japan's Overseas Economic Cooperation Fund. This assistance was used to finance a study called the Project Formulation for the Metro Cebu Development Project. This research was created so that Cebu will see its economy drive higher. Few years later, after everything had settled in, various projects were submitted to the National Economic and Development Authority. It was a total of 21 roads, linked along with a reclamation project, that was located in the south. Further studies were done by the government to determine if they would be feasible, and eventually only two projects made it, and among the two of those projects, the other one is the South Road Properties. Today, SRP stands as a place where massive developments are held, and over 300 billion pesos worth of projects are on the way. From a gigantic convention, to an underwater park, and even an iconic bridge. To go into detail, we have the SMC side, which is known to be the biggest mall in Cebu. With its majestic tower peeking through the clouds, and its wavy design pattern of its windows, SMC side truly captivates the hearts of local people. Constructed back in 2015, the Now Mall holds the record of the third largest mall in the Philippines and the ninth largest mall in the whole world. The mall contains more than 700 shops within, making it one of the best shopping experiences. A marine-themed park that will be the largest aquarium in the Philippines will also be constructed, and it is called the Cebu Ocean Park. It will be something the city has never seen before, as this will offer a deep tank lagoon, where it likewise has a 360-degree viewing tunnel for people to experience a full variety of different colored fishes and menacing-looking sharks. It is definitely an underwater adventure worth taking and is expected to host more and more fine specimens in their aquarium. Cebu's largest indoor arena, called the Seaside Arena, is on the move. While this has been proposed way back in 2017, it has failed to be approved due to political issues, but now it is set to be completed by the year 2025. This will be big enough to have a seating capacity of over 16,000 people. The shoreline development consists of 70% commercial and 30% residential. These two will generate at least 20 million of direct and indirect jobs. 480,000 jobs will come from business process outsourcing companies that will expand in the area, while the remaining number will turn from indirect activities, such as those in hotels, residential and other work establishments, set to rise in the property. The projects mentioned are headed by a consortium of the largest enterprises in the country, named as SM Prime Holdings, Ayala Land, and Cebu Holdings. They have done effectively in other cities and will do so in this. The project alone will contribute well over 22 billion pesos to the government of Cebu, just from permits, taxes, and other fees, meaning that there will be more benefits will be given to the metropolis of where it lies on in the future. This seaside development is just one of the 10 key points that the current mayor wants to improve during his term. The Phil Invest Group also has their own progress in this area. It is called the City de Mer, or City by the Sea, and it is the largest project in South Road Properties, as it occupies close to 50 hectares of land. It comprises high-rise residential zones, and most notably the Il Corso, a beautiful resort-style mall. It is Phil Invest's brand as a lifestyle mall that will cater to your lifestyle needs. Currently, it is already opened and does not contain much yet, but it will indeed provide more services in the near future. Right now, there are restaurants available, so if you're a fan of a luxurious lifestyle, this is just the right mall for you. While they hold a massive set of real estate, they are not stopping there, as they are keen on developing more in the field. They alone have contributed billions of cash to the government. Isla de la Victoria, a project that we have previously presented, is likewise an SRP. If you have not watched that yet, be sure to watch it after the video. To summarize, it is a world-class integrated casino resort, currently under construction on Kuwait Island. It has received an investment worth over 25 billion pesos and is then approved by Mayor Edgar Labella. It will include restaurants, malls, casinos, parks, and more. Right now, it is the biggest project in South Road and will surely be an amazing sight to see. The thing to note in this is that this is not in the reclaimed area as Kuwait Island isn't an artificial one, but it's already been there since before. The most iconic bridge in Cebu will be included. This is called the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway, a massive 30 billion project that will beef up Cebu's road network to provide motorists safe and comfortable travel experience. It's also expected to help spur financial growth and boost investments, not just in Cebu City and Cordova municipality, but in the entire Cebu province and Visayas region. 
Among the exemplary features of CCLEX, which is envisioned to be among the landmarks in Cebu when finished in 2021, is a lighted cross on all four sides, on top of the two 145-meter tall main pylons. As of August 2020, the construction of the 8.5-kilometer Cebu Cordova Link Expressway is halfway through for its 2021 completion target date. This is one of the biggest reasons why big-name people are pouring tons of cash into this property, as this bridge will bring a lot of traffic in the area and will give the metropolis a more relaxed traffic view, meaning more tourists from either local or foreign. And this is the only bridge that will be constructed. There is again a fourth bridge that has already been approved recently. It just shows that the government is serious in making Cebu an economic powerhouse. And that's just some of the enormous projects under this reclaimed area. Several data suggest that there will be more, as investors have been pouring billions of cash into the city, and many more are interested in doing so. Maybe they understand that Cebu is a key destination in the Philippines, and that it is primed to grow economically. It is even good to affirm that these are actually happening, as previously it has been known that this was impossible to do, and that there were a majority of oppositions against this project, because of several reasons. This is why the government of Cebu City emphasized that everyone should be grateful to the people who supported the projects. Cebu in recent years has been doing so well in the modern world, as it pushes for more and more innovations for all to experience, and indeed many of them became successful. Despite the fact that after so many seasons the country, including this city, is facing a very serious political and social imbalance. This isn't even the only thing that's happening in Cebu. There are plenty more projects in the region. We've created videos for some of them, which we will link down in the comments. And there are more of Cebu's future projects that we have not done so yet. It is definitely a grand time to be alive, especially if you're in the area. It is assured that in the next decade it will be a place filled with advanced technology that the people have never seen before. Anyway, what can you say about Cebu's biggest future business and lifestyle district? Is South Road Properties the answer to boost the economy, not only of Cebu, but the economy of the entire country? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.